Alright, Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Akakwadash, and Dabawan, the Apostles, and the Elder Great Millstone. And Shalom to like out there doing his work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. I want to get into a uh, just a quick topic, you know, just about, uh, you know, the Lord choosing, you know, the everyday man, you know, because, you know, this these people out here, man, they, they have the Lord completely uh, twisted, completely confused, you know, about who he's dealing with or the type of people that he's dealing with, man, you know, the average person thinks that he has to be dealing with a pastor in the church, a preacher, or these mega churches. Somebody with some uh, some uh, prestige, you know, uh, within the society, man. Well, you know that that's a that's a sad thought, you know, to think that the most high would be dealing with somebody just based off of their status within the society or how they rose to prominence within the society, and that just shows you uh, the way that everybody thinks. And everything is a damn popularity contest, but the Lord isn't off of none of that, man. You know? Um, matter of fact, before I hit the scripture, it made me think of, uh, um, damn, Slocky, what is it? Do, 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 John 15 and 16. Yeah. So, John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. Hey, and this is perfect because this go right into the the initial first precept I was going to get into. So uh, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and I have and ha ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit shall remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, He may give it to you. Okay, so this is how the Lord is recommended. The Lord chooses. It's not who so-called chooses the Lord. You know, the, and the churches there say, are you going to choose Jesus today and all of this, this, that, and the third, man? Well, that's not the case. Well, in, 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 no, in those cases, yeah. Uh, uh, so-called Jesus, Satan, you know, uh, uh, Serapis Christus, they chose you, you know, or you could choose him. But we can't choose the Lord, man. The Lord chooses us. That's how this thing works, man. You know? But um, going back to this uh, initial precept of uh, this Amos 7 and 14. They answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son. But I was an herdman and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. So he's telling you, like, yo, I wasn't no prophet, you know? Nor was I, because, you know, prophets what they they seem to have some esteem because what they they carry the word of the lord right so he's saying i'm not a prophet i'm not a a, 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 a prophet of a son so it's like yo i'm i'm nobody but i was a herdman and a gatherer of sycamore fruit and the lord took me as i followed the flock and the lord said unto me go prophesy unto my people israel okay so this is how the this is how the Lord works, man. The average everyday man, he's say what he was a herdman and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. So he was a a, a plain everyday working nine to five Joe, so to speak, if you want to put it in in those terms, man. And 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 what are we? You know what I'm saying the majority of us come from you know hey the slums, man. It is what it is. We come from the slums. So what, we just working regular jobs, just trying to uh, uh, make it, you know, or whatever wickedness we was doing in the world. And the Lord chose us, you know, just to pull us up out of the world so we could come unto him, you know. But the world will, will, uh, tends to, to, to scoff, you know, at us, you know, by our appearance, you know, the garments that we wear, you know, uh, different things on, on the news, how they demonize us. Uh, black Hebrew Israelite extremists and also other, you know what I'm saying, nonsense, man. When when the most I was looking at, like, you foolish ass people, man. You, don't you know that I don't deal with appearance, man? Well, uh, matter of fact, let's, uh, 
completion. I believe it's six and twelve. No, it was a second seven. Can't think of it, but um, what was it? Six, sixteen, or oh, sixteen to six? Which one is it? So I can. Yeah, I forgot the precept, but basically, you know, uh, the the Lord, the Lord said, um, for man look if. Uh, on an outward appearance, but, you know, but I look on the hearts, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> can't remember the precept exactly, but, um, that's, that's how the Lord works, man, you know, the Lord is not worried about how a person looks on the outside, that's, that's, that's nothing, you know what I'm saying, because what about this person's spirit, you know, <clears throat> hey, we all, we all know it'd be some of the, the, the baddest looking woman out there, you know, some of the, and when, you know, when I say bad brothers, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? You know, chicks all right in the hips, thick in the right places and all that. You know what I'm saying? Looking fine, pretty, pretty, real pretty face and all of that. But they the worst people on the, on the earth, man. You know, the, their mentality, the way they think, the way they carry themselves. You know, their attitude, man. You know, be ridiculous, man. We see that majority, amongst majority of our uh, women and now people with society and even you got these ugly chicks out here carry themselves in a disgusting manner man you know like they better than somebody or something like that where they look like a damn bag of potatoes man with guts ugly ass toes and stuff like that man you know so the lord ain't worried about the outward appearance the lord lord is worried about you know what i'm saying what type of person that you are man <clears throat> But the world can't see things like that. The world is, is is dumb, deaf, and ignorant to things like that, man. You know. <clears throat> so we we are, even though you know the scriptures. Matter of fact, let me just get to that now. Precept I was thinking of, uh, Corinth, Second Corinthians six. <clears throat> it's uh, Second Corinthians six, and um. Mm -hmm. Alright, Second Corinthians six and um four and it says, But in all things are proving ourselves as the ministers of Yahweh, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in laborings, in watchings, and fastings, by pureness, by knowledge. By long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of Yahweh, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown, as this is truly what we are. But he's given all the characteristics of how we are to be within the, within this truth and things that we're going to bear you know, uh, as far as our cross, you know, by honor, oh, verse 9, as unknown and yet well known, because what, the only name or the only persons that we should be worried about is Yahweh and Yahweh Shah and how they look and how they uh, view us, man, as dying and behold, we live, because what, if to the people in the world, we die because we don't do all of the same things. That the people in the world do. We don't celebrate these holidays. We don't live in the fashion of the world, man. Because we know the fashion of this world passes away. Right? As chastened and killed not. As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing, and yet possessing all things. So the average person is like, yo, you, you, you got nothing, but yet you possess all things. What? We have nothing physically within this world. But what? We... In our hands pertain the keys to the kingdom, which is the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shah and his faith and everything that backs that, you know. So that's what's most important is it's everything that is in the inward part. You know, if you can't get past that, then you can't make it. 
because that just shows you you too much into yourself. You know, you too much into things that that truly hold no merit. You know, uh, the scriptures say in um, Sirach, be not confident in a plain way. So, in what way are we are we to be confident? We to be confident in the Lord. Being confident in the plain ways, being confident in your in uh, in, in man's ways, being confident in the way that man thinks, you know, being confident in an ignorant and in a cocky way, okay. Because look, this is this is how the world looks at us. We all know this uh, precept. This is how the world looks at us. Uh, uh, Lamentations two and fifteen. All of that past. By clapped their hands at thee, they hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Okay, because when they look upon us, we're we not nothing, we're not something uh, comely to behold, you know, just average guys, you know, in, they, in their street gear coming out however they come out. You know, what's so special about them? Why the Lord chose them? It's because you're looking in the wrong manner. You don't understand this thing. You're being carnal about it, man. We ought to be spiritual. This warfare is spiritual. The way we have to think is spiritual. To be circumspect, we have to be spiritual. All right? So this is um, uh, the book of Psalms. Uh, verse 40, uh, chapter 42. To the chief musician... Meshkal for the sons of Korah as the heart panteth after the waters, water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O Yahweh. My soul thirsteth for the Lord, for the living power. When shall I come and appear before Yahweh? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy power? Because, you know, we saying all these things that the Lord is going to bring to pass. But the people was like, yo, hey, where, where's, your, where's your God at? Why y'all in the conditions in which y'all in? Why y'all going through these sufferings? Why y'all can't rise out of this oppression? Well, we're giving you all of the answers if you will only open up your ears and, and see what the hell is going on around you, man. But people are not going to believe our report, you know, as, as the scriptures say, man. Uh, but who will believe our report? The only ones that's going to truly believe our report, you know, uh, is, is those same ones that believed that report, you know, uh, in the in the ancient world that gave witness to Yahweh Shah, the things in which he said, gave witness to the prophets and things they said. And they actually took heed to follow one to the flock because they saw righteousness, you know, upon those men, you know, that the Lord shined the light upon them. Man. And as we see in today's time, starting off with the apostle, that was a great millstone, man. So, you know, for brothers out there, you know what I'm saying, uh, especially younger brothers, I mean, weak in the faith and stuff, you know what I'm saying, like that, uh, you know, you got to build up your faith, you know, don't be worried about, you know, how people view you, you know what I'm saying, how the world is going to uh, uh, look at you, your friends, your family members, so on and so forth. This is all a part of bearing your cross and your how about shot, you know, it's all, all a part of it, man. Um, it, it comes with the territory, man. You know, so you just got to be one to embrace that and, and and to take it on the chin. You know, that that's just, it is what it is. As simple as that. It's a part of our cross. Let me just grab one um, final scripture to uh, wrap it up since I uh, mentioned that. <clears throat> yeah, this is a... Uh, uh, Matthew 6 and 24, then said Yahweh Shah unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. So we got to deny ourselves, worry about our image, worry, worry about how the Lord uh, thinks and feels and looks upon us and take up his cross and follow me for, so, for whosoever <clears throat> will save his life shall lose it and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Okay, so this is what it's all about. We lose our lives for the sake of the Lord, and we're going to find life in the kingdom. Because that's the ultimate goal, man. That's all our ultimate goals, you know. And, and, and that's it, and that's the mission, man. You know, so with that, you know, I hope this segment was edifying. And I like this, like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, the Wana to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. 
and shalom to the out there doing this work of faith and live with love and true sincerity shalom